So you're making a VR game and you want the best performance possible, this video is just for you. So here I got a basic VR setup, so I got Oculus right here, I got OpenVR right here, which is SteamVR, and I got OpenXR. My preferred method if you are starting out a game is to not use SteamVR anymore, just use OpenXR and only enable the Oculus plugin if you need it. And for Android, for the Quest, you can just use the Oculus one right here. You can also use OpenXR, but I think the Oculus plugin has some more features you might need later. First of all, I already made a video on the basic Unity improvements for the CPU. I will link that in the top right corner in the description, so if you haven't seen it yet, that might also be very useful. So let's go through all the major settings. So first we got Oculus for the desktop and the Quest. And right here there's a very important setting. Multipass can go to single pass. And what this does, it renders the stereo image, so both cameras, so your right and your left eye, in one go instead of rendering one eye and then the other. This is quite some faster and it can boost FPS a lot. And all the Unity default shaders should support single pass just like normal. Just if you add any custom shaders, you need to make sure it is supported. And the links to that will be in the description below. So then set this to multipass and enabling these also is just a good improvement. Now for Android, the same applies here. It needs to go from multipass, which is, well, multipass to multi-view. And multi-view is single pass. Still not sure where they got the naming from, but if you're using OpenGL, enabling low overhead mode also can improve performance. And if you're using Vulkan, optimized buffer discards also can improve performance. Face sync is always good to turn on because it is just better well, for performance and the latency. And if you're using heavy FFR on the Quest 2 and using Vulkan, you can enable this. This does decrease performance a little bit, but it will smooth it out a lot. And if you're already using FFR, it shouldn't matter that much. For now, I'm just going to turn this off. Right here, you can have, of course, the target device, a splash screen. That's really not for this video. And do note if you upgrade the uh, package. So right now I am on 1.11. And if you do this to 3.0.0 pre-1 for 2021 and 2.0.0 pre-view.1 for the 2020 versions, I'm going to save this real quick. Then you will see an experimental tab shows up. And again, if you're using Vulkan, you can use late latching, which improves the latency of the controllers and the headset. And the application Space Warp is not ready yet. And if you want to make, to make a video on how to get Space Warp working, it can boost performance up to 70%. Also let me know in the comments and I will check it out later. But for now, if you're using Vulkan, this is probably the recommended setup. And if you're using OpenGL, this also is the recommended setup because the Vulkan stuff is just not applied. For SteamVR, this is very simple. You can change multipass to single pass if it's not there already. And again, that will improve performance. And for OpenXR, there are some more settings, but the most important ones is that single pass is enabled right here. And the same goes for Android if you're using OpenXR for Android. And unless you need it, have the depth submission mode at none. And of course, if you need it, you can select it right here. And other than that, that is the basics. One last thing, if you're building for Android, the texture compression should be at ASDC. And this is also shown in the Oculus Quest Guide for Unity, so this should already be enabled, but if you didn't, make sure this is set to ASTC. So this was a very quick video showcasing all the ways you can improve the performance on VR, and the most important one being the multi-view right here, or single pass on desktop. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to let me know by liking the video, subscribe for more awesome performance and VR content, and I see you in the next video.